All right, so today Eric's going to show us how we clean the airbrush gun. This is the Grex Tritium TG3. That's what I use to airbrush because it's the only gun that I don't have any problem getting my Temp2 SB to go through. This is his setup before he cleans. Hey Miko, this is the helper. All right, Eric, do your thing. So his, this is a cleaning kit. I don't use the two smaller brushes. I find them to be useless. The super lube I occasionally use. I'll explain later. So I take just a hairspray cap. Take a little bit of fluid or cleaner, whatever you want to call it. Put it in the cap. First thing I do is on any of the guns, they're all going to be the same. Take the back off. Unscrew your needle. Come up to a corner. I take it, I pull it through and rotate it to make sure I get it all off. Spray a little cleaner on the towel. Do the same process. Put the needle aside. Don't drop it like I've done. Makes for a bad afternoon. Take your cap and nozzle off. I have taken a small tweezers and added it to my kit and a cheap water paint brush that I modified. Dip it. I find it works well to push it down into and then you can wipe it off a few times. Can you do times. that again? I wasn't I've got a few that. times to do it. So I'm dipping it into my cleaner cup. And then I'll take it and throw it in there to soak for a little bit. I have a pile of Q-tips. And I'll take the same brush and work it in there. And then I take my regular bottle, hold it to the cap, give it a little squeeze. Make sure the fluid goes through. And I take the wet end of the Q-tip. Double check and make sure it's all clean with another one. Then I'll take my... Well, on the Temp2 gun you can't do this, but it makes it a lot easier. Pull your reservoir off clean the threads because inevitably it gets filled with garbage or your makeup, whatever. Nice and clean. Make sure everything's cleaned off on there. Just using my old ones to get the majority of the leftover makeup out. I'll take my largest brush. I'll only push. I'll only push it in so I can just see the tip. And I'll just push it through a few times to get the majority of the makeup out. Now I'll add some cleaner. Now I'll push it all the way into the second section.
and I'll stick it in so that the brush is completely in and I'll fill it up with cleaner and just move it back and forth to give it a good and typically that takes care of anything in the chamber and then I'll take a little bit of cleaner and just push it into here to make sure there's no makeup stuck in there and that takes care of this part of it I don't bother to disassemble the rest I don't find any reason to get that far into it occasionally I'll pull the trigger back and some makeup build up on the edges here I'll wipe it out uh, if the gun starts to stick is when I'll take it apart use a drop or two of the super lube on the sliding mechanisms to free it up because sometimes alcohol if you use alcohol to clean it'll make it dry cause it to hang now I take my little tweezers again Clean it through. Stop grumbling down there. And this is one thing I found gets, make sure the tip has nothing on it. Now I hold it into the hole nice and tight. And you first squeeze, you'll see whatever color you're using comes out that didn't come out on the bristles. And now it's all set, just put it back together. And I'm tightening that little nut in here. You just go until it stops, literally just a touch. You will break that nozzle off in the gun if you twist down on it too hard and then it's not fun to get out I know because I've had it happen so put your needle in and I'll just lightly push it down till it stops and I pull it back a hair and then that's it you don't have to push hard on it just a light pressure put it all back together again I'll hook it up to the compressor. Turn it on. I'll put a little bit in, maybe a third full. Finger over it, back bubble it for a little bit. It'll turn hazy a little bit. You might not be able to tell. Bump it out. Depending on how hazy it is, I'll try it a second time. Better. And fill it about half three quarters and just let it run through. The pressure is whatever Christy uses for applying the makeup. Eric is a master cleaning my gun. He's been doing this for nine years. And that's all it is. Ninety-nine percent of the time, I will not have any other problems. But if there is a problem, it's generally the needle will hang because I didn't lubricate it. So that should take care of your cleaning problems. All right. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Miko. You've been a wonderful assistant.